five. And we are live. Hello again, everyone. And hi, Michael. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you, Leo? I am doing well. I am running out of energy steadily but surely. But it's 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 always a confusing feeling, you know, because I feel the energy going away, but the excitement going up. Because not only because we are close to an end, which means my turmoil and my plight will come to an end, but also because uh, it, it's nice to to have finished any max count and i've put so many great talk in the wild for people to to be able to consume so and that's no little thanks to all our speakers including you michael so thank you so much oh no you're very welcome i'm just happy to be a part of it yeah and we're glad you are uh so michael do you have the pad open in front of you i do indeed uh looks like we've got a few questions coming in here yes um, would you mind reading the question and then answering them sure sure um, so let's start off with the one, one I've already answered. <laughs> How did you create the drill down representation of the make call? Uh, you wondered if I sketched it out by hand and scanned it. So uh, I should, uh, you know, every talk I give, uh, both at work and, and elsewhere, people ask this question. Um, I should like get a finder's fee from Excaladraw. But there's a uh, wonderful <laughs> website on the web called excaladraw.com. Um, very nice diagramming solution. And it makes these awesome sort of handwritten looking uh, diagrams. So uh, that's what I used. Um, first question, have you seen Reclaim ID? Uh, this allows you to make a login that you own or at least is more open source and ownable. Seems to fit with the indie web. Uh, so uh, this is one of the things I've come to like about speaking at EmacsConf. I feel like I learn um, you know, as much or more than I teach. No, I am not familiar with this. So I will definitely be taking a look. Um, there is an IndieWeb protocol for identity. It's called IndieAuth. Um, but yeah, thanks for the tip. I will definitely check out Reclaim ID. Um, what happens when you republish or re-export the same post? Will the web mentions be sent out repeatedly? Uh, they will not. Um, not you, you could do that. I suppose you might annoy some of your recipients. But um, my solution on successful send of the initial web mention notes that down and um, is smart enough to not resend it a second. Um, yeah, so, and, and actually, I want to follow up on something on IRC. I think Carl Voigt said, oh, I don't have to have a database. You don't have to have a database, but I do use um, a plain text file uh, full of uh, just, just printed list forms to maintain state. Uh, let's see. Uh, an advantage I see to using org mode for the IndieWeb is you can use it for your notes. Org Roam, for example, in org mode, no export for private data. Yes, yes. Your web mentions could be org file. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, so many people have found uh, org mode so handy uh, as a, a writing tool that, you know, and, and, and I just felt like, I was, you were right there, right? You just need a little bit of code to get you to, to, to transcode to HTML and get it on the web. And then it was like, well, gosh, I'm, I'm right there. Just a little bit more code and I could start sending web mentions. I could start posseing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> Any thoughts on using with Ox Hugo? So, no. Um, not because I have anything against Docs Hugo, simply because I'm unfamiliar with it. Um, there's a couple of static site generators out there that you can use with org mode. Um, my, kind of my, my design philosophy for this was I was going to start with Emacs and org mode out of the box and see how far I could get with just adding a little bit of, of ELISP around it. Um, is this a Web3 approach, PS former, <laughs> uh, not former military, uh, just losing my hair. Um, uh, not, I don't know that I'd call this a Web3, well, I don't know what Web3 means. Uh, um, 
to some people, it seems to be a decentralized approach. Um, and IndieWeb is all about reclaiming your identity and your data from a few, um, yeah, they call them silos, right? We're talking about the big social media. Um, oh, cool, great, help me. So web one was static sites. Yep, yep, everybody go out and blog on your own server. Um, and web rings were kind of like the, the communication mechanism. Web two is more interactive. Mm. Yeah, I mean, web two certainly was more interactive. Um, I guess I see it as we're going to Michael, just interrupting a little quickly. Uh, we are going to open up the Q&A to people. So if you want to join us, the same drill as usual, you go to the talk page. We've also posted the, um, sorry, give me just a second. Just a second. I'm verifying something with audio level. Okay, cool. Apparently my audio is perfect. We were trying to do some live adjustments. So I was saying we've opened up the BBB room so that people uh, who want to join and ask live questions are able to do so. So either on the talk page or you can do this also on IRC. We've posted the link over there. So Michael, you feel free to keep taking questions on the pad. We still have many of them, but I just wanted to let people know in case they wanted to join. And also one last information, we will need to move on with the next talk in 16 minutes. So you still have plenty of time. Yeah, wow, things are... Uh, let's see here. It's not before, also, depending on what is here. I'm not sure if it was, oh, wow, I'm excited. There's so much time left to answer a question. Or, oh, wow, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for 60 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, the, uh, the, the former, oh, wow, I'm not sure I'm going to get to all these, uh, all these questions. Right. Um, well, you'll be able to answer so later. Cool. Try to do as many as you can. Okay, so I'm on IRC right now. Somebody's telling me I'm super quiet. I'm going to adjust the mic. No, no, no. Don't worry about audio levels. It's on us. You don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sasha's going to try and fix. Uh, is there a workflow to use Emacs to publish and connect directly to target websites? So that's an interesting question. Um, can you define? Yes. What do you mean by workflow in that question? Um, so you want to cut Telegraph out of the equation. I get that. Um, yes. um, what that means, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought uh, somebody had joined the, the chat room. Um, Oh, don't worry. I will. I will let them know. If you have people joining and asking questions, if you hear another voice than mine, uh, it's someone joining, and I will try to be polite and say, "Yeah, can you please wait? Uh, let Michael finish their question." Don't worry. I handle everything. So, if you want to cut Telegraph out of uh, equation, that means you're going to need to take on more work client side, in terms of. Um, First, discovering the web mention endpoint, uh, which is going to involve parsing HTML, which we all hate. Um, then you're going to need to send the request to that web, uh, your, your web mention to that endpoint, um, which introduces, you know, the standard question with webhooks is, you know, what if they're down? What if you can't reach them? What if you're not on a network? So now you got to build yourself a queuing system. Um, but sure, sure, absolutely. IndieWeb is uh, just a protocol, um, and I think the community would actually welcome uh, fewer points of failure like Telegraph. Uh, we got the BBB audio better. Okay, great. So questions. Uh, we were discussing Web3. Um, let's see. Uh, Carl says some people started to term Web Zero for similar <laughs> decentralized approaches. Yeah, I, I don't think that, by no means does IndieWeb imply static site. Um, there are actually CMS um, systems that talk to, uh, that, that speak the, the IndieWeb protocols. I think even WordPress does it, um, as does Drupal. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, if you want to, we can discuss further if you want to hop in the room. but. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I see it more as a decentralized web than uh, Web3. Um, do I have a process? Nope, 
I have, uh, sorry, the question is, do you have a process running on the web server to receive requests? No, so those are cached for me, um, and I literally have a cron job um, <laughs> uh, on my personal desktop, and once an hour, I just reach out and say, you got any more web mentions for me, and, and process them uh, back here. Um, that does mean, given that I have a, uh, a statically generated website, um, I need to republish every time I receive a, a web mention. Michael, if you don't mind interrupting, we have someone in the room who would like to ask a question. Max, if you want to unmute yourself, feel free to ask the question. I'm not sure if you're just showing your webcam. Yes, you do have a question. Go on. Hi, Michael. Uh, you know, I actually didn't have a question. I asked a question about the Web 3.0, and I have a little concern about, um, you know, you, you, you described kind of how dead it was to have just a static site and not be able to interact with people. And so um, I, I was, you know, just thinking along those lines, is IndieWeb is it a better way? How satisfied are you with this? um with this with web mentions and you know sort of thumbs up down um and and did you actually get a demo running i mean are we able to see it somewhere uh, i did not um well you can see it on my my site which is just um but i have oh sorry this uh, can actually can you put it in the uh, do you, if you have that can you put it in the pad so that other people can actually access it, uh, including Max. I'm gonna okay. Um, yes, uh, Max, I know you're still there, but I just want everyone to be able to click on it as well. I'll I'll do it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Carl says Web3 is supposed to be something really strange with blockchains, and this is definitely nothing like that. Yeah, um, Carl put it much better than I could. Um, and well, I'll just kind of, okay, cool, Max is still here. I'll just finish answering the question How satisfied am I? It's work in progress. Um, I'm initially happy. Um, I was limited by time for this talk, and as you can see, maybe I got too far into the weeds, but it was fairly involved just uh, describing how to send and receive web mentions. Um, there's a second IndieWeb protocol called Posse, uh, publish on your own site, syndicate elsewhere, in which you can say, okay, I want to um, publish this post to my site, uh, oh, and at the same time, uh, fire off a tweet referencing it and fire off a Mastodon toot referencing it. And there are protocols for like pulling likes and boosts of that back to your own site uh, as uh, feedback. And uh, I've been playing with that a little bit and actually feeling pretty good about it. Um, yeah, so. Oh, happy to talk more. Um, other questions? Okay, right. So, do I have a process running on the web server to receive requests? Nope. Just a cron job. Uh, I think perhaps you're doing too much inside Emacs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great question. I can't remember if I alluded to this at the end of the talk. But as I said, um, when I started down this path, I felt I was so close. Uh, with just plain vanilla Emacs in org mode. It couldn't be that hard, right? And of course, this is famous last words. Um, initially, it was just a little bit of code around that to get the static site generator up. Um, sending web mentions are, yeah, it's a lot of code. And so I'm definitely kind of at this point of, uh, you know, is it time to, to turn to a proper CMS? Uh, start out using web mentions as service, web mention, telegraph. Then you want to change endpoint, whether to a different service or I want to take them. I see, I see. Um, shouldn't be um, the way the web mention. Oh, I'm sorry, let me finish the question. I keep uh, to make this clear. Um, 
So the question is, let's suppose you start your site using web mentions as a service. Um, and then later on you decide, I, I want to change services or I'm just going to handle this myself. Um, is there sort of a dead letter problem? Uh, will web mentions show up at the, at the old address? And it shouldn't be. Um, so when somebody wants to reach you, um, that is when they do endpoint discovery. Um, so they uh, issue a GET request for your page, and they parse the HTML, and they discover where to send web mentions there. Um, suppose if for some reason they did that and sat on that information for some period of time, of course, uh, then they might that you know they might uh, send it to an old address, but that would be um, that would be a, a non-standard use of the protocol. Um, you should be good. Have I seen Agrigor browser is a decentralized KISS browser using some of the peer-to-peer -peer protocols? Interesting. I have not. Uh, I'm going there right now. Thank you. Um, somebody points out some things are better done outside of Emacs. I have built something similar at buystar.net. Cool. You see www.buy-star.net. Okay, let's go see it. <laughs> this is interesting. Thank you. I will definitely take a look. Yeah, so like I say, I'm kind of on the cusp of saying, okay, this has been a fun experiment. Now I need to go code it up outside of Emacs. I, I like the fact that, you know, the discussion we were having, it, it, the question about, you know, am I doing too much in Emacs is literally a question that could be asked to every single presenter at all the Emacs Conf we've ever had. Because, you know, the, the whole point of Emacs Conf is showing what type of stuff you can do in Emacs. So naturally, the question is going to follow. That is, are you just doing too much with Emacs? And that's always a great question to, to take. And I think you did splendidly. Yeah, it's the, uh, the old joke, right? It's a good editor and an awesome operating system. Uh, yes, uh, I will allow you to do the, uh, the usual jokes about Emacs. I will not allow you to refer to our core enemy. That's, that shall not be. <laughs> the, they who uh, may not be named? OK, fair. Uh, okay, so Michael, we do have about five minutes of questions left. I think you've answered all the questions, and I don't see anyone else. Uh, with a microphone on in BBB, so uh, we might uh, we might leave it at that. If you're okay with this, that's fine by me. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for taking the time to not only do a presentation for us, but also for uh, answering the questions in here. Yeah. No. Thank you all. Um, like I say, I always learn as as much as I teach here. So great. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. All right, and for the others, uh, I'll hold your hostage a little more longer, Michael. We will be heading into the next talk in about four minutes and 30 seconds. So we'll put out some music and I'll, you'll hear my voice again when we are supposed to go live again. So see you in a bit, everyone, and see you, Michael. And we are off air. Okay, I, I have to dash. See you, Michael. You are currently early the only person music in this on uh, Putting music on Jen, can we put? Yes, thank you. Yeah. My volume again now to the original level. Good. You know what? I'll...
All right, I am talking now. Okay, the audio is good. I uh, see you guys. See you in a bit in uh, about two minutes. You are currently the only person in this conference.